My name is Netanel Klein. I'm an Avrecha the Beit Midrash. And I'm choosing to focus this week on the Sefer of Mesilat Yesharim, uh, the path of the just, the path of the upright. This book is one of the main ethical texts in Judaism, written by the Ramchal, Rabbi Moshe Chaim Lutzato, a prominent Italian rabbi who lived from 1707 to 1746. The Ramchal had a difficult life, um, as many of his writings and his classes were banned because they were focused mainly on mysticism. And there was a fear of, of mysticism and Kabbalah at the time because it was only a few generations after Shabtai Tzvi, um, and therefore was seen as dangerous and heretical. Because his classes were banned, he decided for a fresh start and moved from Italy to Amsterdam, where he wrote the Misil at Yesharim uh, around the year 1738. Um, the influence of the book spread, gaining tremendous popularity. And the Vilna Gon, who was reputed to have said that if, at the time when he read it, the Ramchal was still alive, he would walk all the way from Vilna to the Ramchal just to be able to learn from him, uh, which speaks to the uh, tremendous respect the Ramchal gained after, after publishing this book. Now, it's impossible to completely learn this, this Sefer or even summarize it in the few minutes a day that I have this week. Uh, so my goal is hopefully to just give you a taste of, of this work and, uh, and to broaden your horizons and hopefully to encourage and, and inspire others to begin learning it themselves. Um, there are English translations available for those who find the Hebrew difficult, uh, whether in hard copy or even in online versions. The Ramchal being, begins his introduction by, by writing that he's not writing anything new. There are no uh, new insights in this book, but rather it's to remind the readers of, of things that they know and, and routinely overlook and, and forget. And by putting it in one place, it makes it an easier source to, to learn from. And the, the benefit of the book isn't just to learn once and, and put aside and let it collect dust on the shelf but rather to keep on reading it and keep on going through it uh, continuously um, in order to properly ingrain yourself with all these different uh, midot and, and, and character traits. Um, he, uh, the Ramchal laments how, on one hand, you have tremendous Torah scholars who don't focus on character development, and on the other hand, you have people who focus on character development but don't properly appreciate the Torah. And the Ramchal writes how his goal is to have everybody be able to achieve both, be able to be proper Talmidei Chachamim, be proper Torah scholars, but on the other hand also work on themselves and, and improve themselves through the study of Musa. Now, a ru another reason for this book's widespread popularity is because of Rabbi Israel Salanter, who in the 19th century um, founded what's known as the modern day Musa movement, um, where he brought the concept of Musar into the yeshivas as part of the daily learning. And he stressed that through the inclusion of the book of, of, of the Sefer Mesil Yesharim, um, which helped, of course, with its, uh, with its widespread uh, uh, popularity. Now, the Ramchal ends his introduction by explaining the, the outline of the book, how it's, it's different steps. There's a number of steps um, that you work from, from character trait to character trait, um, that after achieving one, you move on to the next. And it's based on a, on a Braita from the Gemara in Avodah Zarah by Rabbi Pinchas ben Yair. Um, and the Braita lists the, lists the steps. And it says, Torah brings to, uh, to vigilance, to being careful. Zehirut um, zrizut. Um, Vigilance bring one's, brings one to alacrity. Zrizut um, nekiut, and so on. It lists the the the, the different character traits: prishut, uh, tahara, chasidut, anava, iratchet. So these are uh, spiritual cleanliness, abstinence, purity, piety, humility, and and that's the that's the way the book is. Uh, is put together that it, it begins with the the mida with the character trait of of, uh, of vigilance moves on to alacrity and so on in the order of this brighter 
um, that, that, that we find in the Gemara. And I look forward, hopefully, to this week, uh, starting to learn this, this Sefer with you and, uh, and learning it from it and hopefully affecting all of us.